At the rising numbers, Monterey County is moving further into stage two reopening, allowing restaurants to open for dine-in service. Restaurants on the Monterey Wharf say they've been busy despite limitations. Action News 8 reporter Kyla Linville is live in Monterey with an update for us tonight. Well, Aaron, many of these restaurants are been very busy since reopening their doors. It's good for business and great for customers, but everyone knows that taking precautions is extremely important to keep this virus from spreading. Feels great to be able to just ride my bike out here and stop at the wharf for a drink and a bite to eat. Bethany and her friend Megan are ending their Tuesday evening with a big plate of fish and chips on the Monterey Wharf, a simple activity they say can easily be taken for granted. I always say that eating out isn't a right, it's a privilege, and so I feel very privileged to be able to come back out and, and eat out again and have someone bring me some food. And restaurants are happy to oblige. It's just been wonderful to be able to open our doors after 76 days of not serving a guest inside. It, it's, it really is a great feeling. Chris Shake runs three eateries on the wharf. He says opening their doors has had a positive impact on everyone. Uh, a lot of our regulars are so excited to be back and they've missed us and we've missed them and the employees are happy and we're all getting used to the new normal of food service. A new normal that all restaurants are implementing. And all services are constantly sanitized. Any table where a guest was seated, when they leave, everything's cleaned and sanitized according to the protocols. We keep the tables separated by six feet and uh, all of those things. It's just an ongoing process. A process that is necessary to reopen and for these two friends they're just happy they're able to get out. Oh socializing absolutely getting to meet new people kind of enjoying all the tourism. So I've been doing a lot of cooking at home and it's nice to have someone cook for me. And there are multiple signs on the wharf reminding people to wear face masks and Shake says that they're also handing out facial coverings for anyone who needs it. Aaron. All right, thank you, Kyla. Meantime, you